Hi, it's Sandra from quirkybooks.wordpress.com in association with World of Quirky and Quirky Academy. So how do you motivate yourself in the morning and lead a much better life? This is my number one formula. What is it you may ask? This is positive affirmations. This has literally changed my life. So you may not know, but I'm into personal professional development would you have guessed? And you may not know that I'm into NLP, which is Neuro Linguistic Programming, which is all about reprogramming your mind for greater success, to create healthier habits, and to basically get on better in your life and be more happy and more successful. So each morning I read these affirmations. Now these are my own affirmations that I've written out. Now what is an affirmation? Basically an affirmation is something positive that you're saying as a statement in the present tense to yourself to help you lead a better life, a happier life. So in these positive affirmations, these are what I've written to myself um, so to cut off any doubts I have or any worries about things. Now obviously I could go on for a longer list, but these have really, really changed my life. In order to form a new habit, in order to reprogram your mind, you need to be doing these affirmations at least for 21 days, because it takes 21 days for them to stick in there. So every morning I have a routine, I have I do some exercises, I have a glass of, of water, or in my case a huge mug of water, I clean my guinea pigs out, but before I do that, well, I have the water first, I then um, read the affirmations before I clean my guinea pigs out, before I even do my um, exercises. So this is really important to do these. So what are mine? Okay, yours are gonna be different. And I type them up and I put them in cover sheet. And I even got a little system, like this is my neck exercises. I've even got a system where I tick them off. Now you'll notice that I've stopped ticking them off because I'm just like doing it automatically now, whereas I wasn't before. And ticking them off though does give you satisfaction, makes you feel like you've done something, done good. So, you know, um, it is good to tick them off, but if you get to a stage where you're doing them all okay, then you can just not tick them off, but it's better to tick them off if you've got time, or if you can, or if you want to. So, my um, positive affirmation, now this one's really changed my life. It's called, be the change you want to see. This is so important. Because if you don't change, no one's gonna change for you. Nothing's gonna change in your life, nothing's gonna improve, and nothing's gonna get better. If you're miserable in any way, shape, or form in your life, it's you that's gotta change. Not someone else, it's you. So you need to know that is the, the number one thing that you should be doing. Now this being my number one is always the first thing on my mind, be the change you want to see. And I know that going into 2017 and beyond, I have to change. And have to keep changing and developing and growing because some of the things I've been doing they work but they don't work well enough or they're not working as it is because things haven't gone according to the plan previously or the plan has to change because my circumstances have changed so for example I'm creating my online training academy in case you didn't know quirkyacademy.com is going to be changed into an, changed into an online training center for entrepreneurs startups and creatives so that's going to be coming up that's very brand new that's going to be out in 2017 i'm still working on my asexual perspectives book and um i've got some time off for my day job now so i'm really going to be focusing hard on getting that finished before christmas so but you know be the change you want to see now my quirkyacademy.com i have actually thought in recent times that i wanted to create an online training center but it, it was a bit all over the place as to my target market but um I know as an entrepreneur that it's all about embracing your quirky, being different, standing out, being born what you being born to do what you were born to do, you know, and living your dream and living your life the way you want to live it. You know, and, and obviously a lot of you are writers, you know, you want the writing, you want the dream, you're going to get it, you're going to do it every single day of your life, and you're gonna keep doing it till you get the results you want. Am I right? Exactly. So, you know, you've got to change, and if something isn't working, you need to just keep changing it. So being single is awesome. For me, being single is really important because I've never been happier since I've been single. 
So that is fantastic. And also, um, until there's someone who's worthy of my love coming along, there is absolutely no point. Now, in the past, something you might have not known about me is that I was in relationships for years of my life, and I used to have the mentality that I wanted to, or needed to be in a relationship constantly. I changed my mind with NLP back in 2012 because I went to a coaching academy training course, two-day weekend training course to be a coach, and literally I saw um, Andrew Jenkins, he was an NLP practitioner and also a coach and he talked about affirmations and how to change your mind. So I did this, I'm happy being single, I did. For years of my life, I said it in the mirror, you have to say this in the mirror ideally as well. If you say these in the mirror, they work quicker and they sit and embed in your mind more. Okay, but if you ha can't for some reason, you haven't got a mirror, we don't like it, then you, you can do them on here. So this is like, being single is awesome, I'm happy being single, I'm very happy being single, I'm extremely happy being single. You might have guessed I'm happy being single. Today is a beautiful day, so it's important to start the day off feeling awesome. So you need to sit in the present tense like it's already an awesome day, it's already a beautiful day. I am happy, life is good, I am safe. Now this is really important because I still get anxiety sometimes and sometimes I freak out that I'm not safe in some ways. When really it's my mind that's telling me that I'm not safe. I know there's some characters that aren't so savoury um, around, but in general, you know, life is pretty safe and good. I mean, there's a lot of countries that are in a lot more problems than us. You know, I live in the UK, so I'm blessed and thank the Lord that I'm okay. So I have enough money, my money situation is good, I am in control. Now I've used a lot of money for my businesses and my setups over the last few years. I had a, a really big client and I was working for the, teaching for the NHS and this year that came to an end. So then I obviously have to, um, I mean yes I could get more and more clients but I want to go into online training services, that's really where my heart lies. I want to be working from home in the future and I want to be doing online training courses rather than just doing services all the time. I just feel that's where my heart lies and also writing books, I mean loads and loads of ebooks, I love ebooks, I'm writing mad, it's my whole life, my whole heart's desire, I totally love it. So that's what I want to be doing more of. So yeah, so I've got to pay out for some more software and some more tools to help me do what I need to do in my life, so obviously the money's going to go down a bit, but it will go up. Um, I feel my power and my energy is really important, you've got this really strong power within your body and soul and within your mind and if you don't harness it and use it, then you can just feel like empty in size. It's really important to do that. I love being me. It's really important that you love yourself. I love Sandra Bellamy. I do love me. I totally love me because by saying this all the time, yeah, I feel great and I really do love myself. You know, I love the way I look. Um, of course, it, there's always one thing that, that you could change about yourself if you wanted to, but I do love me. You know, I only need me as well. I mean, I'm a self-contained you now. I live on my own, uh, well, in a shared house, but in my own flat, which I adore my flat. It's five minutes from the beautiful quayside, absolutely gorgeous. I only need me, I pay all my own bills, I pay for my food, I pay for my guinea pigs. I have an awesome life, you know? There are more advantages to being single, you know? Look after your own bills, look after your own food and everything. It's awesome. I am alive and that feels great. I'm happy and thankful to be alive. I think that's something we can neglect and we can forget sometimes just how awesome life is. You know, we're living. There are people around the world who are sick and dying and we are alive. And if we are alive, we should thank the Lord and thank the world and everything and everyone in it that we are alive, you know? We are alive. I don't know if you know, but I had an accident three years before my 12th birthday, three years? Three days before my 12th birthday years ago. And um, I was knocked over by a moped. The guy smashed into my head. Um, I was unconscious, but I saw the blood and the guy's visor afterwards. Yeah, and I didn't need one single stitch, even though I had quite a lot of bleeding to my head. I woke up in the ambulance, you know? And my mum was there, I'm like, what happened? And it was just like, kind of really, really strange, surreal feeling. Um, but, you know, at the same time, it felt amazing that I was still alive, that I was still, um, you know, surviving, not only surviving but thriving, I didn't have to have one single stitch, I mean, you know, how awesome is that? And I'm looking forward to an awesome and beautiful day, I'm happy, it's so important, you need to know that the day is awesome, and if part of the way through the day it goes rubbish, that's fine, you just say, that's not good, but this day's still great. That one thing that happens not good, and if another thing happens, another thing, that's it, okay. Okay, challenge me, bring it on, it's fine. This is a great day still. I love all the rest of the day. It's amazing. 
So this is my top tip for motivation in the morning, also inspiration and for changing your life. You need to be writing positive affirmation down, get yourself something like this, type it up so it's in concrete. You know, you can't, you can't say that's not there or there's ink spill or, you know, I put it in this plastic wallet. Why do you think that's keep it from getting dirty and wet? So just do it, okay? And it will help you with your writing. You'll feel more positive, be able to write more stuff, be more creative. And it's just going to help you love life, love yourself and be so much happier. Until next time, embrace your quirky and each other's. Please share this valuable video with your friends and whoever may benefit for fr benefit from it. <laughs> benefit from it. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Please leave the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I love you dearly. Take care and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.